everyone, this is the Mad Salvi letting you know that unless things are proven with Twitter posts and stuff like that and actual, have actual proof behind it, treat everything in this thing as a theory. I will mark try to mark certain things as news and theory and everything like that to kind of let you guys understand, but also, you know, use a critical mind. And I hope you do enjoy. Welcome again, everybody, to another episode of What the Sisters Be Doing. The Sisters, of course, classic stuff. It says, weren't the tickets $100 plus? dollars? Don't think people are going to pay that to enter just to cause a minor scuffle. Even if there were people trying to do that, they could do it at the booth for free. Keeping an unsecured location like that open doesn't suggest concern for safety. How am I supposed to know how much tickets cost? I'm a European, I can't afford going to LA. So you have no idea what's going on and still spewing nonsense. That's a needy sister signature. Yes, it's a needy sister signature to say, oh yeah, a place that's gonna have a lot of security and also cost a hundred bucks to enter is exactly gonna be the place that you're gonna have people going and trying to cause issues. Of course, it doesn't make sense to anybody who's trying to look at the logical standpoint of it, logical side of it. It only makes sense to people who don't look at logic. I feel like I lose a few brain cells when I read Needy Sister's Twitter replies, it's like they weren't even taught a critical thinking skills. They're just arguing in essence to defend without really doing any research on their part. Just like how there are people who would join rallies without knowing the purpose of the agenda of it all, just kind of to join the larger group. How can people get brainwashed by Niji become someone like this to become someone like this? And why can they be brainwashed so easily? Think you're putting the cart before the horse? They always were this way, lacking deeper thought and questioning, making them very easily susceptible to turning into ideological lemmings. I understand that VTubers give uh, people something to look forward to in the end of the day, but supporting a company that has openly questionable moral standing, it's not really good overall. And the thing is, a lot of these people, they tie their, their whole identity to the organization and that's the issue let's give you a brief rundown of why jp fans defend niji so vehemently uh a lot of people feel that niji defend niji fans are defending uh jp side way too much uh most of them may not speak fluent english so they're not aware of all the things that are happening on the foreigner side in some cases they believe that us over here in the west are too critical of these agencies we're not loyal enough you know that kind of thing uh the blatant divide between ian and jp fans um is because of rampant racism and some emphasis some Ian haters propagate. I've seen countless replies just saying classic Japanese, Japanese will never understand. So yeah, that kind of xenophobia is never good. A lot of discourse between antis and realists and the sisters is due to miscommunication polarization. Yeah, once you get a lot of um, sides being polarized, a lot of uh, tribalism going on, you're going to have some people vehemently defend the company because they're like the company can't defend themselves, so they're gonna do it for them. At least that's the way it seems. Uh, JP were also celebrating Achan leaving their pure scum, fitting for a scum company. Part of the problem is that JP side is unwilling to cross the language barrier. Ian side is used to also, you know, we like fan subs. We like, you know, also, you know, crunch, crunchy roll Funimation have weird subs sometimes. Uh, a lot of GD fans act like a cult. There won't be ever be resolved. If you said that Niji hater, also the same. Let me give you an example. Niji side, makes mistakes. Caffeine, alcohol, recent cancellations, etc. People pointing out the mistakes. Needy fans call them haters, antis, even if they point out the mistake, valid evidence reasoning. Needy fans defend vehemently with, the, with, no, with ignoring facts. They're in denial, saying it's not needy staff, it's just caffeine alcohol. While the truth is needy staff did, uh, they cancel safety reasons, must point out their delusions. If you want to be resolved, there's at least three things. For Niji not to make mistakes, which is impossible because it's a, a company run by humans. Needy makes a mistake, they admit that they made a mistake. That'd be even better. Or three, for Niji fans to admit they made mistakes, example, Niji mods, slander Suisei, and then Niji Liver made him out not mod anymore. Problem is solved. Haters, antis can't hate Niji fans, can't defend the mod anymore because the Livers already took action. That would be very good. Of course, it's not going to happen, but that'd be very good. N might as well say Niji is a cult. I kind of believe that as well. Affected his fans, play buttons, both Ian belong to the company. The sheer numbers of talent across both branches compared to that 90 of Hololive. And the breakneck tempo of rolling them out will lead to competition for resources and viewers. Fostering tribalism. Despite what their investor reports say, Needy Side is extremely reluctant, reluctant to outsiders. So yeah, the fact that they're stopping doing outside stuff is also another reason. Armchair Expert, the one who has done a lot of analysis recently, uh, lately, about uh, Needy Sanji and the mistakes that they have made in PR, has gone and done it again. And this time talking about uh, Needy's bad PR response to concert cancellation. And the sister's safety concern rat apart. He tears it apart. He goes right here and says, amazing analysis of what went wrong. Why is Nidhi Sanji in that state? And how Nidhi Sanji could have salvaged the situation when they should have pulled out an Nidhi of AX to minimize loss without putting personal feelings on the matter. 
One of the interesting bit is that at the timing of the withdrawal from AX, Armchair discerned that one of the best times to pull out is when controversial Shika Noko Noko Koshitan video, the Doki Lyravox version, was released. They could have pulled out in a user statement that they released in X, which would create a smoke screen for their failed sales. So once that video that we all know right now of uh, Doki dancing in front of Illyra and Vox, a very tired looking Illyra and Vox, they could have pulled it out there because they could have said it's harassment. They could have said, you know, it's danger to the people, blah, blah, blah. They could have made a smoke screen if they really wanted to. They didn't want to, so they didn't make a smoke screen. From here on out, not our trip's opinion, but mine. If they did pull this out, the maker of the video would be put on NDS crosshairs and might get severe harassment and could create legitimacy of NDS claim of security concerns. Fortunately, the Niji Sanji isn't that smart. At the end, AX wasn't happy for the cancellation because they get this ticket entry sales and gets full collateral damage from that safety concern rat. While Anime NYC this year will steal the deal and gets blessing from Hololive instead. Everyone knows the demand numbers. Next year, if Hololive is still kicking both places, maybe new faces might offer bigger haul nearby for an EN concert, maybe even a hollow meet deal in exchange. Means less chance for Niji to find a gig there. More than likely, uh, Anime Expo is going to be thinking twice next time that they try to get Niji Sanji there, especially when it comes to concerts or anything like that, because they already got screwed over once. And you know, fool me once, shame on me. Uh, shame on, yeah, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. Yeah, fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. Uh, so if they get fooled again, then they're going to get screwed. First hour and a half, we talked about it very illuminating. The gist of what he said is Niji's trademark lack of clarity backfired massively in this case during the off cancellation. Worked because of the context of Selene's termination, but here it didn't because they didn't do it right. Uh, if they had made a cancellation announcement during any of those times, which was the Expo layout was announced, Doki's booth was next to them, Pair of 4chan's tweet about Expo gained traction, when the infamous fan animation was made, any of those things, it would have been good for them. But they are too dumb to do that. Uh, concerned about safety would come as truthful. Hardcore fans would have really, really supported them. Even some antis would have been like, oh, well, yeah, you know, it makes sense. Instead, canceling the event in this manner at that time leads to the most audience to reach the conclusion that it was mostly due to numbers, which is the conclusion that I reached. Also leads the hardcore fans who were silent until this point to eventually realize that the company cares more about shareholder optics than them. So yeah, he concluded by saying that any of any chance any color expanding globally is gone at this point, pretty much. Uh, the remaining fan base in the EN is not going to do well. Again, Melico is showing that they are able to do a lot with the little that Niji Sanji is giving them. They have decided to take it into their hands and make things better for themselves, which is a very, very good thing to do. A lot of people don't like it or don't like of what she's done because she has decided to instead of going to VTA the virtual talents academy which is what a lot of people do she decided to instead go and go into the Niji EN side in order to I guess get uh, the support that she wasn't going to be getting on the JP side but it's helped her out uh, she has still been on the supported by the JP side and had the Nigita clip watch along, which still has 17983 people watching at once. That is really big fan base because she pretty much just has JP Library or skip VTA joining EN. So yeah, she's got the JP support and um, things are going well for her. I'm glad that things are going well, but that's because she took it into her own hands and has decided to put it into her own hands and make sure that she is the reason why things are going well. His honorary JP. And real soon, she's the rest soon to be ex -E Um, Yeah, JP Liver disguised as EN Liver. Uh, EN Liver, yeah, a lot of, she's not even EN anymore. That's the big thing. But either way, she's taking it, like I said, into her own hands and made sure she brings her own success. This is another comparison to Nidhi Sanji stuff. We all know how bad the 3D lives are of Nidhi Sanji. We saw the AR live. We've seen other 3D lives where they, the talents, the talents behind the VTubers try their best but Niji Sanji's staff just doesn't give them what they deserve. Salome and others we've known and we've seen many, many times before. All these bad things that have happened uh, when it comes to the 3D lives being just horrible. Have you seen 3D Idol gotcha games? Most of them have got your animation. Think of the same thing. Pretty sure they had a high level 3D animation before the VTuber was a term. Way better than Niji AR Live 3D. Like I said, let's take a look at what's going on here. Of course, I'm not going to be doing any sound because a lot of these things are actually... Um, copywritten and I don't want to get hit by the copyright trolls or anything like that so here we go look at that but again a lot of this stuff is you know already a very 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 uh popular game and they have money to do it but the, here's the thing here's the difference Niji Sanji also has a lot of money and they don't do anything anyone near this much and that's the craziness about it 
unfair comparison one thing to compare to other vtubers when you're comparing them to a game corporation with pro mocap just say niji management could do something if they wanted to of course it's comparing apples to oranges in a little bit but it's 3d to 3d and you know if they actually wanted to put in effort, I'm pretty sure Nidhi Sanji being a billion dollar company could do it as well. This one's going to be a short one since it just seems to be a question in regards to why people are, you know, this person's wondering why people are uh, saying that it's going to be the end. And the short and skinny of everything is the YouTube community, at the very least, when it comes to Nidhi Sanji, has decided to already give up on them. They aren't doing anything crazy. They aren't doing anything wild. They've already said that they are going to stop supporting them, at least in the sense of they aren't going to be factoring in Niji EN into any of their growth projections. And this person says the Western viewers are gone. Like three quarters of Niji EN viewers are now in Asia. Female mostly watches the male livers. Some may be willing to return, but it's been clear that any color doesn't care about them fixing the problems. That's the main thing. They're not going to fix the problems so that people aren't going to come back. They've just been in a tailspin for the last four months or so. Their last two financial quarters were pretty bad. Niji has stated that in the foreseeable future, they won't be making EN a priority. Uh, if you mean some drama tuber said, then it's because more clickbaited. Uh, but honestly, I don't see why any way for them to recover Niji EN. Any color keeps doing something nonsense. I don't see if, if it's so far any change of things, you know, good things to come. Uh, if they change, then yes, there's a possibility that the viewers could come back. But it doesn't look like they're going to be changing anytime soon, which is the big problem that's going on. I hope for the livers that things change for the people behind the mask the people behind the vtubers people are working their ass off trying to create good content i hope for them things change but sadly it looks like they're gonna have to leave or graduate before that happens now we're taking a look at a art project this is what happens when you have a good community behind you when you have a good group of people giving you art Unlike what's happening with Nidhi Sanji, because, you know, Nidhi Sanji doesn't pay artists. Nidhi Sanji doesn't really do anything to try to get the art community on their side. We've heard stories, horror stories of bad NDAs and other things on Nidhi Sanji's side. But a little thing to cheer people up on the VTuber side is everybody's always putting VTubers in sweaters and making them pregnant. Uh, well, how about sending them to school instead? This is what this person did. This is the person that did it. Of course, they have NSFW stuff. So I made sure to not get you the NSFW stuff and just take a look at the things that are here. It says uh, Monarch, uh, she has by the book. It's basically a Monarch kind of um, VTuber art. We have Cali illustrations, which is right here. The closer illustrations there, very, very cute. You have Silvervale illustrations, another very cute one. Uh, after a battle, I guess. You have Doki illustrations. You have Mumi illustrations. You have uh, right here, upgrades into other girls' personal touches. How do you feel about keeping the gloves? Uh, basically, it is a Victoria Valerie uh, art here as well. It's all very, very cute art. We have Cinder, which is very cute here. We have uh, Ariel VT, have Adian Mixture. We have uh, Saya Synchronicity as well. So a lot of these things are very, very, very cute. It's all just thanks to the way that the VTuber communities are, thanks to the way that artists, when they are treated correctly, they go and they do things like this. This is a stark comparison to what was going on with Nidhi Sanji. This is the King's Theater, the specific one that uh, Hololive is doing, the Breaking Dimensions, the Hololive concert that's popping off in August, I believe. It was the King's Theater in Brooklyn. A lot of people try to get in line. This is just going to be about the uh, long wait list, 18,444. It's three times the actual showing of what would have been, or, you know, the, the open seating that would have been at Anime Expo, but 3x times people were already waiting just to get tickets, to get tickets on the, the immediate moment the thing sold out. So it's more than an hour wait time. Of course, when you're in this number of queue, you're guaranteed to not get a darn thing. Most likely, everyone ahead of you has already gotten what they wanted. It was in the 1300s when it opened up and managed to snag a rear orchestra ticket. Absolute bloodbath. Very nice. Uh, well, got no chance around 17K. AC would have wanted to have this line of queue for the council concert. Yeah, it would have been great. Again, all this stuff, it was 18.853 for more than an hour of wait. I got lucky. I clicked less than two seconds after it opened and got... And the line at 9971, even people that got in that quickly, like you have to have a bot or something to kind of do it for you. Because even then, uh, it's all gotcha time. I messed up and refreshed the page. The button ended up at 2800. Really wasn't sure I was going to get a seat, but I got both days in the orchestra. Very, very nice. Very nice to get both seats in the orchestra. Very, very lucky. We had a group of six people 
prepped and ready to buy. One of them made it around 1500 and another around 3500 By the time the 3500 person got to the ticket buy screen, everything in front of the mezzanine was already bought up. Rest of us range from 5,000 to 16,000. So that is what happens when you fully support the like an organization that fully supports their talents and fully does everything possible for their talents. This is what happens. Continuing with the breaking dimensions uh, news section, here we have uh, it sold out in 53 minutes. People here, everything sold out. Once you got in, everything was sold out. This was 53 minutes after it started, according to this person, when they went through. It was a bloodbath in a sense of everyone wanted tickets because it is very rare that in the U.S. you have a um, a Hollow Life concert. The last one was break, uh, Connect the World, I believe, in Los Angeles. So despite the capacity of 3,000 people, the queue to purchase tickets was 18,000. 53 minutes after the beginning of sales, no seats were remaining for purchase on either day. My group had six people ready to pull the trigger, and we barely managed to get enough, with one person getting one of the very few remaining seats on day two. We knew it was going to be chaos, but I find myself being once again in awe of how much demand there can be for the events when conditions are ideal. When people get supported correctly, when the, the organization supports their talents correctly, that is what ends up happening. You do end up getting good moments like this. And I am very glad for everybody in, in Hollow Life. To clarify the way the ticket system worked for this event, everyone who arrived at the sales page when it went live was placed into a queue, only allowed so many people from the front of the queue to attempt to purchase tickets at any given moment. Queue filled up beyond 16,000 people literally as soon as it went live. It took 53 minutes to work through the queue until all available seats were sold. It's entirely fair to say it sold out instantly. Seriously, not one but two concerts sold out in the same month. Two concerts are two giant effing slaps to any color, of course, but that's what happens, like I said, when you support your talents correctly. You are now in line at 12276, 726. It's a minute late. A minute after, it was already 12726. It's quite crazy how things are when uh, Hollow Life does their things versus when Nidhi Sanji does their things. Nidhi Sanji had to cancel their uh, live, their, you know, concert, the live concert, and Hollow Live just sold everything. Now, this is what a good agency does for its livers. Even in this case, for a managerial staff who was there since the very beginning, since the very start of everything. Um, this is an emotional time for everybody who has enjoyed uh, Hollow Live, who has enjoyed everything that Achan has done. Achan has saved people like Suisei from leaving, people like Miko from leaving, has uh, you know embraced the Kagai Nikis, which is you know the foreigners. They've embraced everything, and this is truly what a good agency does let's take a look this shows the love and the appreciation that they have for someone who was and still is going to be a big part of their agency. This just shiny smiley story is a song in the background and of course this is an emotional time. Showing the love that they have for that one person. This is not something I could ever see Nidhi Sanji do. Other agencies, yes, but not Nidhi Sanji. Like, I could see Idol Yen doing this. I could see Face Connect doing this. I saw Vom's Monster Project. びっくりしてくれるといいな。それはいつもあんまりびっくりしないから。この写真はお化粧が完成した時に撮った。最初の写真です。私はそらの少し歯にかんで恥ずかしがっているような優しさが滲み出るような顔が好きで。写真集でも
ありがとうえこの1年ソラは自分のやりたい方向を自分でいろいろ考えて私は私でホロライブで働いてホロライブのみんながどうアイドルできるかを考えるというお互いに挑戦の1年だったと思います最初ゲリラで放送するとツイッターで見た時すごくドキドキしましたスタジオでスタッフさんもいる中だったけど私はとてもハラハラして見ていましたでも楽しくいろんな放送をしている空を見て今は信じてよかったなと思っています自分から曲を作ったりホロライブのみんなに突出したりしている空を見てほんの少しでほんの少しだけ寂しい気持ちだけど、oh, yeah, that that moment. That was a good moment. それ以上にとても嬉しいです私も私で安心して自分の仕事を頑張ろうと思います空がみんながもっとアイドルできるように夢に近づけるように私もいい一人と裏方としていろいろ挑戦中です<笑>また喜んでもらえるような嬉しいお知らせができるように実は今も挑戦中です楽しみにしててねそして3年目もこれからも一緒に頑張りましょうこれからも止まらずに進んで少し疲れたらいつでも私に話してね空友第1号友人家よりあまいけんです This is a wonderful message from Achan, of course, to everybody. Friend A. This message translated says to everyone who loves Hololife Productions Hello, this is Friend A. We apologize for the sudden announcement. The virtual world has expanded beyond what it was when Sora and I first started our activities. We would like to thank each and every one of you for supporting Holopro. Every moment of the past seven years has been special, and working here has been the pride of my life. From now on, I will continue to watch Hololive and VTuber as a fan. Hololive Productions' dream, which began as one person's dream of becoming an idol, will continue to expand. We look forward to your continued support. Thank you very much. Bye, friend A, which is Achan. And yeah. That is amazing. And of course, wish the best for Achan. Wish the best for everything that she does, for everything that she wants to do in the future. And of course, Hololive will have a special place for her always. Everyone who enjoys Hololive, everyone who enjoys VTubing will have a special place for Achan because she's always been a fun, go, go getting, happy go lucky person there. And it is, Noruka has some big shoes to fill in, but I trust her to do the job well. What are chances of her coming back to cover some time after caregiving responsibilities are concluded? Because it seemed she didn't want to leave completely when she went in hiatus three months ago. We simply don't know. We don't know if she's going to come back. We don't know if this is going to be something permanent or if it's going to be something that's going to be gone for a long time. Likely depend on how cover is at the time. Same with her job opportunities in other companies. As far as I know, Yago said he would always keep the door open for her if she ever wants to return. But we can't predict what will happen in five to ten years. Of course, bit of a tangent, but I wonder if cover will recruit a role for Achan. I don't think they will. Uh, not gonna lie, the interpreter from the Dodgers stream would be good overseas rep. But yeah, I don't I don't think they're gonna those are shoes that are not gonna be filled just like it was with uh Kiryu Koko when she left. Those are shoes that are not gonna be filled by anyone else. It's just going to be left for Achan if she ever wants to come back. And of course, a little meme, a little uh remembrance of Achan. She's still gonna be doing her thing for the 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 meantime until you know the 30th, which is gonna be in a day or so. Um, but she has made a humongous impact on a lot of people she is the reason why one of the reasons why hollow life is the way that it is now she is one of the goats the amazing managers the amazing staff 
the amazing whatever you want to call it she's staff but um she has acted like a manager in many cases in the sense of keeping suisse miko and others there and again it is a terrible day for rain for all hollow live enjoyers all vtuber enjoyers everyone who wants to see a good organization happen everyone who wants to see good staff uh get benefits and get shown in the limelight as she has of course right here people are saying no stay with me and don't leave me and yes a lot of people feel that same way may either may she either revive or find a happy life right now she's going to be doing caregiving so of course i hope she finds a happy life uh by the way the source of the comic looks like some batman it's dc comics batman when when he found his parents and you know he was able to see them again um and yeah like in like a, a dream world type of thing and yeah achan is going to be very very well taken care of of course very happy where she is because she's going to be taking care of family, which is very important. Of course, I hope she does come back, but if she doesn't, I hope she has a good life. That is all for right now. Of course, comment, like, and subscribe down below. Thank you for being here. Of course, I love having the conversations with you guys. I love having these things with you guys, and I do appreciate it whenever you guys do comment. Take a look at my description for my socials. There's a Discord, there's Twitter, there's other places that you can check me out, Twitch, etc. And also check on your screen right now because there might be a video that you might enjoy. Thank you.